baked Hitler. Big, juicy. Uh, oh, I love them. Good morning. The start of week two living in Jamaica. And we are going to go get breakfast. So, yeah. Ah, good morning, good morning, good morning. Where you need to go to? Don't you Where you like to go to? That's one of Joanna niggas. No, that is nice. Where you want to go? We're going to Susie's. Oh. Why did you want to join in the homeless man on the street? No, in the car. He gave her that oh. car to drive. I thought and you were talking about the back. Oh, because she don't want him. Bye, y'all, because sorry, it's always going left. Bye. Anyways, good morning. Start up a new vlog, and we're going to start off going to breakfast at this place called Susie's. It's popular, right? I guess. If you're in Kingston. She has a good story. She used to sell in a little hut. Okay, I'm making that up, but she, they told me she had very humble beginnings. She started off just baking her pastries. If you go to Susie's, I mean, if you're in Kingston, go to Susie's. Cause okay. I like the food. It's a lot of variety. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, right? 24 hours they open after the club spot. <laughs> oh, period. I like Susie's right there to there because I be up late. But I be up late, so I always want to know what's up late. Susie's, what one? Susie's, food nice. Susie, food nice. Galesu, what? Galesu. Yeah, man. Bye. <laughs> See, Susie's packed. You too, beautiful. <laughs> she is flirting. She flirt with everybody. Susie's packed. Here goes some Jamaican breakfast. Kalalu. They didn't have saltfish, so Star got us fried fish. But usually we'll eat Kalalu and saltfish. Neither one of us like Aki, so plantain. I think that's boa banana. I don't like it. So as y'all can see, mine's. I don't already start eating, but I just got the Kalalu. Kalalu plantain and the fish. The fish is so good. Color look good, it's just spicy, but it's good. And some plantain to balance out the spice. Cause I don't like the boiled banana, and it's some like bread in here. I don't know, but that's our breakfast, and we about to work. I don't know what the day brings. We have no plans, We're just going with the vibes. Film the other way, okay? Y'all can't figure out where to go, so I'm going to sleep. Says S.A. Is she going to jail? Police! 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 Help! Police! Help! Police! Help! Help! It's so nice. Lordy, have mercy. Your skin is so beautiful and radiant. <laughs> <laughs> Shea about to box see you by souvenir, but she don't sell no more. Because, you know, I'm learning something with all of us cancer. We really don't stick to nothing. Mm hmm She had a best body butters and oil. Like, why is she not selling it? But I can't wait till you see this video. You look so good. What's this video? Trying a new restaurant today. Beanie Man new restaurant. We're going to try. Okay. She got a magnum. She trying to get essayed. <laughs> Our family, one love. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> okay, one, 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 today. Feel on white. Yeah. <laughs> What's our order? Um, lobster, curry go. This chicken, jerk chicken, planting and festival. How do you like your food? The goat is good. The goat is good. Same joining them. The festival was good. 
Hey y'all, another day on the road. Hi. Hello. He's just so amazing. So, yeah, we came to this restaurant. So good so far. Nice service. And um, this is going to be our lunch on this good Sunday. I woke up early and went to the coffee shop and did some work. Uploading a YouTube for you guys. So, I'm having a great day so far. Second stop of the day. So, we will show y'all how the drink and food look good. Go ahead. Yeah. Was I supposed to pull out? <laughs> Was I supposed to pull out? I thought you was doing a boomerang. Oh. Okay. Well, guys, we have our drinks. Yeah. Yeah. I fuck with you. Let's do a first taste. How you like it? Good? I love soy sauce. Oh. I didn't know that soy sauce was good with liquor. <laughs> Everything good with liquor. Liquor like butter for real. Like it makes everything better. It really does. And cooking people use it a lot to enhance the flavor. Not really. Okay, so taste it. Ooh, sorry. It's good. Pear apple. It's like good baby food. Oh my god. Like Drunk baby food. Baby food. Like pear apple blended up. But it's good. It's, it's good. It's nice. I'm surprised. She doesn't usually like the sour sauce. How's your drink? Delicious. What is it? Mango margarita. <laughs> and it tastes good too. Everything tastes good. So far, so good. Okay, first set of appetizers is out. This is a shrimp flatbread. Star taking extra shots per use in her drunk fashion. Um, it looks good. I'm not gonna die in this episode. <laughs> <We do. laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. This sauce is sweet. It's like I wasn't expecting it now. Just like a pizza. They're kind of stingy with the shrimp, though. They are stingy with shrimp. What is shrimp? Because I'm looking for it. You know what I'm saying? One day they get that shrimp. It's good, though. Um, I kind of like that they chose to make the tomato sauce sweeter. But that's my vibe. See, I was looking for like an Alfredo sauce. Like when I hear shrimp, I don't know. Flatbread, like mozzarella Alfredo. Cause this just tastes like pizza, but it's good. If you like pizza, this is good. It's like the pizza rolls, the mm -hmm. pizza rolls. But it's like pizza as a snack, this is good. And then the pepper add a little 
I'm not tasting no pepper. They have like this honey sauce too. I don't know what kind of sauce that is. Maybe that's sauce too. See, I got a lot of pepper in my mouth. Oh, sweet pepper. No, yeah, the pepper. I don't really like cheese, so I don't know what's the point of me always getting stuff like this, but. Oh, this one got a lot of shrimp. I got three whole shrimps. On this one. Friends that eat together, stay together. <laughs> Except for y'all. Y'all might argue at the table. Somebody on TikTok talk about, I'll be back in six months to see if you still survive. Because all you're doing is eating. Say it, that's all I do. Because I eat worse in America. Basically saying in Jamaica, I'm not going to survive because I'm eating out too much. That's what she said. Babe, I eat worse in Jamaica. I mean in America. She's trying to call you poor, babe. I know, but that's the comments. Everybody's fighting in the comments about money. When it's like the video wasn't even about money. Get your finger out of my face. Girls, out the room. Yeah, you winning. Out the room. Out the room. I think America makes people think life is harder than what it is to do things like moving to another state in America it probably does feel like it's about to cost you an arm and a leg but moving to an island your rent is cut in more than half mm -mm, baby this is the island school that is the concept of they can't afford it yes yeah you're trying to be nice let me just say y'all can't afford it like she's but her life in I don't like how they're making it like it's this American thing as if it's not Jamaicans doing good here. Like there's and that's what I said I said no matter where you go, there's poor and rich. Every place you go, whatever country has a fastest system. Do you want to know the irony of this? Mm -hmm. On my TikTok, they're arguing with me because I said Jamaicans are poor and they're saying no, there's more rich Jamaicans than there is Americans. They're saying America's more poor, there's more homeless people. Which just goes to prove people just find something to argue about. You can't please people. I they gotta learn her. my um, African dances. I don't know this one, but I'm I don't think learn. you should learn. I think you should go and tell them, let a nigga teach you. Be <laughs> in a club, like what did you? Yeah, they're just like going in, like. Oh, I'll be back in six months. You'll be running back home. Jamaica so expensive. Um, we're not shopping here, babes. <laughs> we're, not, we're not buying clothes. We still gonna How are you gonna make income? Out. Let me see you working. You're showing all that poo. <laughs> You're showing. You ain't showing nothing but poo. Let me see you work. Let me see your money. I was like, huh? <laughs> She's supposed to go to the bank, take out her money. Yeah, and yeah. She said she needs to work. No, I said I'm confused. What money you wanna see? She said, No, I meant let me see you work. You showing all that poo. <laughs> I need to see you working. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> You gotta do a TikTok working, jumping off the couch and just sleeping. Y'all be sarcastic, but it ain't sarcastic, it's real life. I'm like, this is how I work. Take your photos, recording videos. This is work. Yes. Working. Working, working girl. Right. Yeah. Working. 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 We got a lobster mussel shrimp. Is that a crab leg? Maybe. Egg. I don't eat eggs, but it's here. Potato corn. I think those clams and not mussels. Yeah, those are clams. She gonna bust it down. <laughs> bust it down. What do you rate the place? Ten out of ten. How you recommend? Smash that. That don't make sense. So good. Especially because of customer service. Yeah, customer service. They move slow with customer service. They're nice. They're attentive, they're nice. And everything was really, really good. They don't brought me to the block. And you know, I would hang out, but I can't. I have Girl, you don't got shit. You I do. Know. Look at them painting. Oh, look at the little boys. That's so cute. They brought me to the block. It's a vibe, y'all. I have work to do. Y'all just see the little boys painting. So it's actually nice what Joanna's doing. She's giving back to her community. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not being funny. She's from Portmore. So this is Grantsman. Star, hush. This is Grantsman. Why community we don't do this in Portmore? Service. Well, how about you planet? How about Joanna planet? Giving back <laughs> to her community. Right. It's fine. Dynasty, how about you? What? <laughs> what?
what you say? Dynasty, how about you get on that tree and pick some mangoes? They're not ripe. I would. You know, I'm just trying to record a video and I have not been able to get to the point because somebody is rude and condescending and I always want to say something. Anyways, Jonah is doing something amazing. Joey, could I see your shirt? Turn around. You. She's giving back to her community some philanthropy. I see them painting. And yeah, Joanne is doing something very positive and Star just wants to make jokes all day. So yeah, they brought me to the hood. We on the block. Get out. I'm in the ghetto. I'm just playing. I love it here. Um, yeah, it's so nice. I'm looking for all the kids out here, music. But I have to go because I need to upload this YouTube video. Y'all, look at this mango tree. There's so many mangoes on this tree. Hold on. Look at this mango tree. Oh, I can't wait for them to get ripe. I'm gonna be picking mangoes every day. It was a Pepsi. And Star messed with the kids because that's just what she did. They taught me a valuable lesson. What? They said they don't need my help. They don't need a woman's help. They're right because they're strong men, big men. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all doing a good job already. Just go, my best friend. Okay, your taxi calling. You need to take his number. That's how she come out on the block? That's how she come out? Yeah. You guys see it's gonna be star. That's gonna be star Merle. See the cookie wash? It's like cookie wash with the vagina. So cute. Look at the dogs. Why the dog wanna come by me? What? Okay, we are getting ready because tonight we're going out to what is it called, Star? Oh, I don't know. I've been wanting to say wine down Wednesday, but I know it's not Wednesday. Fine wine Sunday. She's gonna take me to a uptown wine party. <laughs> you know, there's no hate for the ghetto. There's no hate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm not like the one lady on TikTok. Telling people she had ghetto people but getting going to jail every month. I'm not like her. And beating up her husband. Like that's insane. That is the most ghetto activity that you could do. Pro tip guys, after you put on your primer, I don't think I learned this from OC Jackie, but I don't think this way she do it. I think she's color correct first, but I just do primer and then set with powder. Promise your makeup won't sweat. It won't move. It won't sweat. We running late, so I'm gonna do like a five minute beat. My no makeup makeup look. This bun get loose too. I gotta redo my bun. But yeah, I don't even want to do my brows. They're like already pretty. We in this bitch. Finna get crunk. Abras on fleek. The fuck. When I'm rushing, it's just not what to do. I think I'm gonna just clean them up. Um, y'all help me pick out what to wear. Well, I mean, y'all can't really help me because by the time y'all see this video, I'm gonna pick it out already. But I'm on like a classy dress. So I guess I'm gonna show y'all my options. Cause why just get like classy? Okay. 
I used to color correct with like orange, but now I just use this and no Bobbi Brown foundation stick and chestnut. And I color correct with this. Then I'll put on concealer. When I'm doing my no makeup makeup look, I do everything at one time. Not in order. This is how you do your makeup in five minutes. All right. Concealer under my eyes so I can look alive. I ain't doing my makeup fresh out of the shower because I'll be so hot. Mm. And then like let that sit. And then I'm gonna blend this out. And then y'all gonna come back and see the final look. Cause yeah. My brows are really thick and pretty. I really don't feel like doing them. But I think what I'm gonna do is just drag the concealer that's under my eyes up. Um and just clean them up, but like <laughs> Come on, my daddy blessed me. Like, come on, it ain't really much to do. Um, so yeah, my no makeup look is under paint, concealer, face powder all over, blush, bronzer, lip gloss, done. That's all you gotta do. Five minutes and you're done, okay? Yeah, you don't know nothing about that star. <laughs> what? Yes, you can. There was a time you really couldn't. You can now. No, I cannot find it. This is crazy. I have my outfit that I'm gonna wear. What you wearing? Can I? Okay. Um, you want to pick me out a dress? <laughs> oh, what you want to wear? You can't find. Me. Mm. See, see y'all barely got a forehead. I don't even know why I be putting shit up here. Just aggravating myself and the foundation. Yeah, I want like a nice flowy dress. Something. What? No, it's sexy. She just always wants me to dress up. Too. Y'all, I'm going to show y'all the one dress I pulled out. <laughs> like a choir. Going to church. All right. Let me finish. And we'll... Oh, I may put on some BB cream. To, like, pull it all together. Yeah, I'm going to put on some BB cream. So, pull it all together. Let's... I'll come back. <clears throat> all right, y'all. I'm done. Oh, you know what? I didn't put on no eyeliner. That's crazy. You don't even notice stuff until you look in the mirror or look in the camera. Anybody else like how to make faces by no eyeliner? Y'all yeah, can't even talk. I gotta be focused. Look, I messed up, but I'm not fixing it. Cause I don't care. I don't care, I'm too tired to care. All right, put on blush, put on highlighter, bronzer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I'm my edges. But this is what I'm wearing. Cute, simple, classy, okay. I was trying to show y'all what purse I'm wearing with it, but I don't know where I put it. Anyways, I gotta do my edges. I am so happy she did not leave a lot of my edges out. I hate when people braid my hair and they leave all my edges out because I don't know how to do baby hairs. And I'm gonna cut this because why is it so long? Y'all got long ass sideburns, but girl, why you left it out? <laughs> cut. It's just here. It'll grow up. Cause I do like once y'all do them and they mess up, I don't know how to redo them. So I hate when people leave baby hairs out. But she only left a little bit. It's like just enough cuteness. So I'm cool with it. I'm fucking with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so cool. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh, oh. See, I be taking it too far sometimes. Girl, that's ugly. I don't like that. You know, we're going to leave it because can I do any better? No. Oh, see, I'm 
see if I mess it up. not gonna lay down like she's just not with it and i'm gonna appreciate her curliness like oh we didn't lay down over here either y'all think that worked i could go tie it down but i don't feel like it yeah we're just gonna appreciate her curly anyways anyways Anyway, life great, Gucci still good. That's my mantra whenever I feel like dealing with something. That's what I say. Look at my angel. Just need some oil. I'm not doing all of that shit. Now I'm gonna be sweating and hot. Fuck it. Huh? I'm just not gonna get a nigga. Are you getting the camera so they can switch your lens? Babe, you're gonna be mad at this camera for you because you didn't wipe off your lens. Oh, whatever. It's life. She always. <laughs> didn't get the camera right. Yo, what did I even do? But it's this? honestly our fault because we be rushing. That's right. Oil them up. Grease them. Grease them up, grease them. Like you're getting ready to hop in a frying pan. These titties need a lift, bro. Don't do your tits. I wish I didn't do mine right now. Ooh, I love your titties so bad. Oh my God, I love her titties. You should have seen her old titties. They're just so subpar. These Actually, ones, no, my old titties was pretty and I like them. They were subpar to me. It's my opinion, it's my preference. I like big tits, big juicy. Uh, woo! I love them. Where's the cops when you need one? S A. Every day, y'all see what I gotta deal with. I'm glad it's on camera because we can when I made my report, I got evidence in court. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 Narcissist behavior. <laughs> All right, y'all. I tried. This is what it's given tonight. I will come back for the final look. But for right now, this is what we get back. Um, what is going on? Oh, I need to do my lip. A little liner and gloss. You know, a little 90s lip liner and gloss. <laughs> and major, and major. We'll be back. Walk. Walk, walk, walk. We're mm -hmm. on to class C in the front. Oh. Like 10 money getting spun. Oh. Like, like, like. what? Like. Mm -hmm. This ain't what you want. <laughs> like a coach bag, ask, baby. Because that's Dolce oh, and Gabbana. Yes. Yeah. Bitch, say she want to be my op. God bless. Amen. <laughs> Classy. Can you walk closer? Let me go closer okay. to her. Yeah, it's okay. Wow, okay. this is it. Yeah, so that's like we're giving just godly and white and wifely. Because my husband and maybe at this party. I don't know. But let's go, ladies. So beautiful. Thank you. Love you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> can't tell you where Joanna's going. To sleep. She's going to sleep. That's, that's She's just, you know, taking a little hooligans. We're the hooligans tonight. Backyard against out. <laughs> hey, wait, Joanna. I didn't show my ass. Not I didn't show my ass. That's yeah, just sad. Oh, hey, me. Titty. All right, see y'all at the party. That's why everybody be Get away from Joanna's door. <laughs> Get away from Joanna's door. Hey, she said we're doing. It's a redo, not the one or the two.
to our third spot of the night. Yes, you know, everyone should be so proud of me because I'm still, I'm here, I'm alive. No, we ain't really did nothing. Everything been real chill, real cool. I like it. Um, the wine place was a little too wine down. And then where did we go? Uh, the lot. I like the lot. That's a good vibe. Yeah, the lot is. That's where the grand opening was. I wish it was there. Oh, yeah. That's nice. That's a good vibe. The lot was good. And now we have Ribby's. That star called a sugar daddy spot. I mean, they outside lurking. I was scared walking. They looking at you like fresh meat. No, babe, I'm scared. They looking like you up on the platter. And they trying to figure out who they finna eat. Yeah. And they looking like fresh meat. Jamaica got this little like Uber app or whatever, so I called them and uh, to come pick me up. And now we about to go. So yeah, let's go. Got my shades. Get my computer. Can I even put the shades on? I'm not getting multitasking, y'all. All right. Y'all see my little number today? Just real comfy and cute because I got a lot of work to do. I'm expanding my masterclass. Well, I'm turning digital dollars into a masterclass. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, and I'll talk to y'all when we get AC. Bye. Happy Monday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Happy Monday to you. Oh, I had a great weekend. Now it's back to work. Y'all, Jamaica got a little Uber. So I just called me a ride at like $4. Excuse me. Can you open the guard? How are you today? Fine. Good. Thank you. So we had a great weekend and I was back to work. I'm gonna go to AC Hotel today. Hello. I screwed up well the cars. Okay. AC Hotel, AC Hotel, yeah. So I'm going to AC to grab some lunch and to work for the day. Yeah, because y'all see we had a fun weekend, now back to work. Y'all, we did not get home last night till 5 in the morning. I woke up at 10.30 and now it's 12. 
So perfect time to go get lunch and go get to work. I love AC Hotel. It's like businessy. They got like a Starbucks, business rules and stuff. And I haven't been since I got back. That's my favorite hotel in Kingston. So I'm gonna go. And I wonder if their marketing person is there because I would love to do a collaboration showcasing business owners, entrepreneurs, corporate workers, you know? As far as having AC, that's the place you stay when you visit Kingston or just a work day. Because I think they have like these work passes. And I think that'll be a good promo, like do a work pass. But um, other than that, I will talk to y'all when I get to AC. And yeah, we'll catch up later. Bye. Hey guys, I have made it to the AC Hotel. And this is a Pokemon chicken sandwich and some fries. And then I got to have a little name. And yeah. Yeah, I'm about to do this. It's insane. I'm going to care all day. But it's cool. They got the food. The Wi Fi, Wi Fi, jump in the company. Okay, yeah. My to do this is super long. Everything I got to do. Insane. But that's Mondays. Mondays are always like the most to do. Mondays are always jumping. And yeah, I just have to get out the house to work. I never see me go for it. I never go for it. But I just want to show you how I made it. I'm here. As a woman. And as a woman. Okay, so today is a slow day. I have nothing exciting to show y'all because I'm just working today. So I came to um, Susie's like a cafe bakery and I ate and I am just working. Um, I think I mentioned that I'm expanding digital dollars into a full master class and it's gonna have, um, you're gonna be able to make money reselling it as well. And we're adding a lot more video trainings and information to the ebook and to the book. The book is on Amazon if you want to get it, I'll link it below. And also if you want access to the class, I will put that below. But um, yeah, this week I am in my grind mode, okay? This book is 10 chapters, which means the class will have 10 modules. I'm just saying more than 10 because I'm putting bonus modules in there. Um, But I have 10 different lessons, outlines, courses like to break down and teach. So this week will not be as festive because I am a working girl this week. So that's literally all I've been doing all day. It's like 5, 5.30. And I'm going to work until it gets dark and then I'm going to go home and still keep working. Um, Because I got a lot of new videos to record. And I, but I'm excited. I'm excited. Like the number one question I'm getting from this moving process is how are you able to move out the country? How are you making money? Online business digital dollars learn how to make some money online learn like switch your mindset that being paid isn't just like doing work and somebody give you money for what you did you can be paid by simply existing it is money all around us it flows for the universe um god is always going to provide god you don't put a limit on god you can snap your fingers and make a hundred thousand dollars today y'all bookmark that because when i have my 100k day i'm gonna replay that clip and show y'all that it happened um and so that's digital dollars it's no cap you have ultimate freedom of your lifestyle and your income so that's what i want to teach people in whatever aspect you want to do it you want to be a business owner uh influencer you want a tech job working from home you want to work from home job all of that is in this course it is literally the top 10 ways to make money easily effortlessly just learn and do the work um so that's what we're doing and that's my day sorry i don't have nothing exciting i'm just a working girl this week i'm not hanging out not around nobody we'll see what the weekend brings but then i don't know because i decided to do like a three-day fruit fast just like tea water fruit for three days and i'm supposed to do that on the 21st and i may go longer do a week or 10 days i don't know yet probably i need a week i need a week to fully flush out this system 
because the back is big. The, the back is big, okay? And I'm not leaving Jamaica big. Like, I need to look like a full body skin fish, okay? So, it may still be boring. Because when I'm fasting, I cannot really go nowhere. I have to be home. My energy is lower because I'm not intaking, like, the calories and stuff that I need. So, I have really low energy. Fasting is not hard for me. I just can't do this. Like, I just got to sit in the house. <clears throat> but that'll be interesting too because I've never documented me fasting and I said a three day fast but now I'm thinking I need a full week fruit, veggies, tea, water yeah I need a full week so the 21st to whatever that week will be I think I need a full week and then just on a mental and spiritual level I need to pray, journal, write, read more I need clarity yeah I need to sit in the house for about a week honestly so I don't know when I start the 21st or so should I start like Sunday or Monday? Maybe wait till after the weekend since I'm doing a whole week now. I just decided on here talking to y'all. I may start Sunday. Yeah, I may start Sunday and do a week of fasting and that'll end the month. We'll see. But yeah, that's all I did today, y'all. Came to Susie's. I woke up late because I went to bed late. Shower, freshen up. Came to Susie's and I've been working ever since. I've been working all day, all day. But I'm excited. I'm so excited. Like, if you want to change your life and learn how to pivot, transition, you can travel the world, do whatever. Whatever financial freedom look like to you, start learning how to make money without having to get up and go to anybody's job. And there's nothing wrong with that. If that's what you want to do. I'm saying for the people that is tired of that, they don't want to do that. It doesn't make them happy. And even if you still want to keep your job, side hustles, make some extra spending money. This could be your play play money. This could be your shopping money. This could be your family vacation travel money. It's 10 different ways you're going to be able to make money online. I'm doing an outline now for my videos because I can't record my videos out here. So I'm going to record them when I go home and I'm just like doing an outline so that when I get to the house, I can start recording. But I'm doing all the written content, all the ebooks, the workbooks now. And then the video outlines. And then when I get to the house, I will record the videos. So that is my day. I will see and talk to y'all later. Bye. Okay, y'all. I'm about to go home and finish work. I did get a lot done. Um, I got a lot done. I've been here since like 1230. And it is now, I think, almost 3 o'clock ate lunch and I got like all the you know Monday administrative like little to-do list stuff done but now I'm gonna go and work on the class so yeah that's what I have to do now is go work on my class and reconstruct it and expand it to a master class and it got too windy like my stuff was flying around everywhere it got way too windy and it got kind of cold and then Wi-Fi was cutting off, so I'm like, let me just go home. So I'm going to go home and start working on the class at home. So see y'all back at the house. But all in all, good day. Just left from their little Starbucks inside and called my little Uber, and I'm about to go home. Hey, y'all. <laughs> I'm just playing. Hey, y'all. I am getting ready to go on a date. Date night in Jamaica, my first date in Jamaica. Um, Yeah, so... This is what it's giving. On my first day, it's always like to be real classy. Like, and I don't know, it's something about a red dress or just wearing red that screams a little sexy, but I'm fully covered. I could beat one the way cover this to give it sex. See ya. Um, I'm gonna wear a little white and gold purse for the white and gold embellishments on the dress. But I'm excited. I'm gonna come back after the date and tell y'all all about it and how we even got here because I think I got one minute before Mr. Mr. is pulling up on me. But we are going to Ribby's Ocean. So it's like downtown Kingston on the water, ocean front. Ha! <sighs> I love a man that picks a good spot. But when we're done, I'll come back and tell y'all like how I met him, how this came about, and how was the date? Cause I hope you don't think I'm staying out all night. Jamaican people like to party and I like to go to bed. So it'd be a little riff right there. Anyways, what is it giving y'all? How I look? Put it in the comments. Mm-hmm. It's giving. Yeah. Nasty but classy. Virgin bag me. <laughs> y'all. Mm, I just got an order. Thank you. Hallelujah. Um, I just got back from my date. <laughs> 
and the night was festive. Let me tell you, festive. Low key traumatic. Okay, we've we've have had a festive, traumatic night. Like it's it's insane. It is insane. Who? Anyways, the old man. Okay, let me. Okay, let me tell y'all how we even ended up on the date. Let's let's start there. How we ended up on a date. Um, we went out Sunday night and we went to one of the like little, you know, daddy spot, like old school R&B, old school reggae. So it'd be a lot of sugar daddies there, I guess. Well, Star said that, but then when we went, it really was a lot of old men there. But I just like R&B, like R&B is my vibe. So I'm just vibing, I'm minding my business. I'm not into old men, so I'm not looking to talk to nobody. Um, but this old man was like staring at me from across the room, smiling, then he inch closer, inch closer. Boom, he in our little VIP section. And he know the people we with. So, whatever. Long story short, he like telling me, I'm beautiful. Da, da, da. He, da, da, da. Da, 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 da. So, <clears throat> the guy my friend with, like, he walks off. Like, he introduced himself. He walks off. Compliments me. Oh, and he was like, do, do I want to put my number in his phone? Or can he just get it from so-and-so? Like, who my homegirl with? And I was like, oh, yeah, just get it from so-and-so. Mind you, I don't know so-and-so. Like, my friend with him, but I don't know him. Like, I do not know him. So, I know he don't got my number. And I know my friend just not going to get nobody my number. So, that's my way to duck and dodge it. Because I don't know this old man. I'm not interested in old man. So I was like, oh, yeah, get my number from so-and-so. Because he's just assuming since we're in with them, like, I, the God knows me. But the God does not know me. The God knows my friend, not me. Anyways, that's how I get up out of it. Now, mind you, we go to the bathroom. We come back. He's back over there, I guess, looking for me or something. So when I come back, he got a big smile on his face. He's like, can I get a hug? So I give him a hug. Um, he was like, what are you drinking? So he ordered me like what I'm drinking. He's like, you won't like food. He just being nice. But again, I don't know who he is. So the guy my friend is with, like kind of tap her like, do your friend even know who she talking to? Like, yeah, he, he, him, like he one of them. He the big kahuna, okay? And I'm like, who is this? But again, like, we're in a party. It's music. It's a lot going on. I don't have time to fact check, like, and figure out who this is. And then he also acted surprised, like, oh, wow, your friend grabbed his attention? Like, I can't believe your friend actually, like, got his attention. Sir, please, do you see the material? Like, come on, come on. Like, I, ain't, I ain't never got to go after nobody, baby. I attract. The money comes to me every time. Um, so he just, yeah, like, I can't surprise that this man even wanted to talk to me. Like, oh, um, dang, how your friend caught his attention. Yeah, your friend got one of them. And he's like, it's a good time because he's available right now. He's free. Again, it's a lot going on. I don't have time to ask, well, what happened in his last situation? Like, what's going on? Has he been married? I don't care. This man is not attractive to me. I don't like old men. Like, I'm just not caring. But I guess I wasn't, like, really paying him attention. And um, he, like, had his phone out trying to, like, put it in, like, hey, let me get your number. But I was looking elsewhere. I was looking at some else in the party. I ain't gonna lie. I was, I was like, doing an eye dance with this tall, tall, chocolate buff, sexy beard. Chef kiss looking like one of God's favorite. What a beautiful chocolate man. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Who was like mouthing and singing slow songs to me. And we was like playing eye tag across the room. I was not worried about this old man. So because I didn't see him like trying to give me his number. The guy my friend was, was like. I'm like what? He's like. I'm like okay okay. So I get my number. Boom. Anyways. <clears throat> he made she text me. Hey did you get home safe? Next morning. <clears throat> he's like hey. Um, I want to see you. Can I take you out for, can we go out tonight? Yes. Cool. That was Monday night, right? Monday night. I think today, yeah, my days of the week be off, but I think that was Monday night. I mean, Monday and we were supposed to go out Monday night. Monday night come around. I don't hear from him. And I'm the type of person like, if you don't call me, I don't call you. If you don't give me like set in stone details, like, hey, 
this is what we're doing, like this where we're going, mm, it ain't nothing to me. So then Tuesday come around the next day. I think today is Tuesday, y'all. Today is Monday. It's, I mean, Tuesday or Wednesday. But I'm feeling like it's Tuesday and today is Tuesday night. This is what happens when you move out the country and you just be chilling, baby. I don't even know the days of the week. Tuesday is here. This morning, he invited me out again for dinner. And I'm like, okay, but what time? Like, I'm very... I know a lot of black people are in it, especially like Caribbean and African cultures. Y'all don't be on time. Y'all don't. But I'm a very timely person. Like, you need to make reservations. You need to say this time, this place, like this is what we're doing. If you don't do that, I'm not coming. So he's like, okay, now let's check the timestamps. He's like, okay, I got to go to the gym around 6. I'll be done about 8. I don't know who's spending 8 hours. I mean, 2 hours in the gym. 6 to 8. Sir, you don't even look that fit. But whatever. He said he'll be home about 8. So he was like, what about around 9? I said, okay, let's do 9.30 to be safe. That gives you time to get home, shower, get ready. Meet me there by 9.30. He sent me, great, I will see you tonight at 9.30. Now, I did not rush to get ready. And dude, <laughs> my version of late be like 10 minutes late. Y'all be late, late. And this is my version of being late. I didn't rush to get ready. I just took my time. I was like gagging. Just taking my post time, and I still left the house at 9.20. The reservations was at 9.30, and the restaurant was 15 minutes away. So, I was going to be 5, 10 minutes late. That ain't even late. When I get in the car, I text him. I'm on my way. He's like, okay, I'm just leaving the gym. Cut the cameras. Dead ass. This may be normal for y'all, because I have Caribbean and African friends, and I'm telling you, they... They will show up to a flush two, three, four hours. It is like normal. It's not normal for me. I do not operate like that. I do not operate like that. I just don't. I'm looking at the phone like, you just not leaving the gym. I said, okay, let's try this another day because honestly, I know I'm not going to wait that long for you. If you're just not leaving the gym, you still got to commute home. You got to get ready. You got to get dressed. And I'm not sitting nowhere waiting for you that long. I'm not. Like, I'm just not. Um, and I'm still gonna go out and enjoy myself because I don't know who else I'm gonna meet. My occupation is a certified bad bitch. It's just a lifestyle. Like, it's, I mean, if you get it, you get it. The rules are there. <laughs> and I just want some food. Like, you know, like, when I know I have a day that night or I got an outing, I don't really eat during the day because I know I'm gonna eat at night. So I'm hungry. And now I'm annoyed. And you stupid. Ugh. So... I get to the restaurant, I'm waiting on my food and stuff. He starts texting me like back to back to back, like four or five messages. Should I put the messages here? I'm going to think about it. I may put the messages here. I may not. I don't know. Crop out his number or something. He's like, so what are you going to do? Where are you? No, he's like, where are you? And I'm like, I'm about to eat. So what are you going to do? I said, enjoy myself and have dinner. Well, if you were still going, why, why did you say um, we can meet up another time? I can still come and meet you. Are you by yourself? Just start talking message after message, like four or five messages. I didn't respond. Then he started putting the question mark. I ain't responding because the point is, like I told you, I'm not waiting on you. I was I was ready. I was on time. I want to drink and eat now. I'm not waiting on you to get here. And then I don't like when I don't already drunk and eat and I got to wait on you to drink and eat. No, you should have been here on time. And I don't want to know you're not coming. No. So he blowing me up, blowing me up. I don't send it to my friends. Like, am I wrong that I'm ignoring him? Because at this point, I'm ignoring him. I'm not telling him I'm going to eat and enjoy myself and I don't feel like waiting on him. I'm ignoring him. And my friend's like, no, you're not wrong. Ignore him. Because who do you think you are? I know the guy in the club was saying, you the big Don that I don't care. I don't care. You're not going to be rude and inconsiderate and just stupid. Like, I don't really care who you are. So, yeah, once my homegirls, once my best friends tell me, I can't ignore somebody. I'm going to ignore them. Because they always telling me I got communication problems. And it's not nice to ghost people dynasty. It's not nice to block people dynasty. Because one thing about it, I'm not going back and forth with you. And just like that, you've been blocked. <laughs> and just like that, you've been blocked. With nobody. Like, I don't have to talk to you. I hate when people act like you're forced to talk. No. I don't got to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. And so when my friends, all of them, all three of my close comadres was like, 
nah ignore him don't respond because no what is your problem you should have been on time now you want to text her some what well i could still come no <clears throat> so yeah then i ignore him and i had such a good time i'm not gonna lie the rum punch was so strong but i was like oh because i haven't ate and i got my drink first of course and then y'all know they be on island time i get my appetizer to an hour after ordering it so it's an hour and i'm on the rum punch i'm tipsy i'm tipsy no lie <clears throat> I think I drank too much rum punch because y'all, as soon as I was done with my food, the lady didn't even have time to bring the check. My body, I know how my body feel when I got to throw up. It starts overheating. I feel very nauseated, oozy head. Like, I just be like, what is going on? <clears throat> threw up all the food. Threw up all the food. So, the night started with this man and ignoring me. Then I started having a good time drinking and eating because that's what I love to do. And I'm vibing and I'm used to going out by myself. That's no big deal. I'm having a good time. And the food was actually tastes good. All the food tastes delicious. And then I just threw it all up. I got super sick. Like, could not keep my head up. I'm, like, laying on the table. I'm just, like, hurry up. The lady, like, are you okay? I'm, like, I don't know. Literally, as I'm pulling out my card to give it to her, I couldn't. Thank God this was oceanfront. And it was a little real. And I just leaned over. And I threw up everything. I thought, And I'm just, like, handing her my card and throwing up. Embarrassing. So embarrassing. I mean, I was already outside and it was already by the ocean. So I didn't throw up on nobody or nothing. It just, you know, went in the sea. Um, the little security guard came over and gave me mint. It was like, are you okay? Then they brought me some water. I called my car and then I left. And then when I get in the um, taxi car or whatever, I sit in the back. Y'all let me know in the comments, like, how it is where you're from in your country. Because I didn't know it was rude or wrong to sit in the back. He, like, get in the front. I'm like, what? He's like, can you get in the front? So, when I got in the front, he was like, where are you from? I'm like, oh, Florida. He's like, yeah, I knew you wasn't from here because, you know, you don't sit behind people. I'm like, okay, is this a Jamaican thing? Like, you're not supposed to sit behind them? I don't know, like, it's safety. Like, they're just, for safety reasons, they think you're going to be back there, choke them out. I don't know. I'm just like, well, sir, I didn't know. Okay, like, where I'm from, you call a car, you call an Uber, you sit in the back. They don't want you sitting in the front. It's kind of weird. But he's like, no, don't sit behind me. And I respected it. He brought me home. I was telling him how I just got sick. It threw up on my foot because he was like, oh, how was it? And I was like, well, it was good, but I just threw it all up. So... Um, then he started being concerned for me. I would say that everybody was very concerned tonight and polite and nice in that manner, in that way. Because even when I got in the house, uh, he called, which they little Uber app. Why is these people got my number? Now I got to block him. But he did call. I was like, hey, did you get in the house safe? Are you okay? You feel better? And I'm like, yes, I'm good. Thank you. And he hung up. He wasn't like trying to carry on conversations. So I'm like, okay, maybe because he knew I was sick. Um, whatever. Let me, let me show y'all actually. <laughs> The restaurant. The waitress was so cute, child. She gave me this ride. She was like, here, I'll take this with you for in the car, just in case. You got to, you know, and I'm like, thank you, girl. They gave me mint water and a little brown paper bag just in case I had to throw up again. But I didn't, and I feel okay. Because I, I wasn't even sure whether I was going to record this video. But when I came in the house, I feel better. Like, I feel okay. I guess I got it all out. So I don't know if it was the food, like some bad fish. I don't know, I had too much rum before eating, too much rum punch. I don't know. But that was the mother freaking night. So long story short, some old, short, fat man. How about you in the gym? How you in the gym and you fat? How? You lying? Yeah. Hell, the gym is not that important that you stayed that late that you missed our day. It ain't. He tried it. Then I got sick and threw up at the restaurant. And then I learned I can't sit in the back seat. And that's rude. And I need to sit in the front. And the taxi man done checked me. But he was nice. And he made sure I got home safe. And that was my night. <laughs> Best of. That was my night. Tomorrow, I'm just going back to work. It's going to be a regular work day. That's why I just stay in the house. And I don't be going nowhere. Oh, and then TikTok is just a fool. I am so grateful that the videos are going up on TikTok, like going viral. They're doing great. They're making me some money. But man, them comments. 
y'all y'all be tearing me up in the comments i'll be tearing y'all back up too but it's just like we really ain't gotta do that to each other like why is it so much negativity i'm gonna do a video talking about why i knew from the start and it was never my plan to live in jamaica long term as y'all can see it's a lot going on but i'm gonna do a detailed video of why i'm not living in jamaica and i'm moving to my other place um permanently because why why like they is going wild on tiktok it's too much going on anyways that's it that's all that was my night come back tomorrow for episode two i guess bye y'all